Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Dr. Pea Mushelenga. A very good evening, Mr. Thank you so much for making the time to join us. Doctor, are you with us? A very good evening, Minister. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you so much for making the time to join us. Well, Minister, perhaps if you could just shed some light on the current um, adherence to the, to the state of emergency regulations now that we've entered the, the stage three, and of course then with the additional provision of the curfew. Yeah, thank you very much. Before I talk about compliance uh, to the regulations, proclamation six, I also want to ask people that are trying to attack course by government to address the pandemic by politicizing the issue of COVID-19. There is, for example, a letter speculating written by two residents of Erongori who are trying to bring the issue of state of emergency, the issue of regional and local authority experts that are forthcoming, mm -hmm. and alleging that there other issues in the country like TB, HIV, gender-based violence, and uh, accidents, but we never had a state of emergency. Uh, we should refrain making reckless Organization of the COVID-19 issue and try to support the government address pandemic that is affecting everyone. And it doesn't discriminate affect people. It does not know the political allegiance of people, the religious background mm -hmm. or the color of the people. Another issue that we also picked up uh, people trying to say that lockdown measures were put in place so that apparently it can prevent people from creating uh, concerning the judgment on the request by the law cycle. This, again, responsible politicization, the lockdown issues, it's not go with that, but the lockdown has been used as it was in to address the issue of spreading the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Now, to prevent the spread of the pandemic, people must adhere to the regulations that they've been introduced. When we are told that gatherings are limited to 10 people, we must adhere. It means we should not try to gather more than 10 people. I know people like to have uh, to host home parties as well, mm -hmm. where they will invite people more than 10 because they know that the regulations are safe. People are uh, family members here that they can be more than 10. But when you host a party, invite people from other families and you are more than 10, you be violating the regulations. And you are not hurt to care the pandemic, to keep it down, but you are just spreading it. Because more often, it is from these parties that people go and spread the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And when people are tested, once you are tested, even if you do not have your results, you must be safe for a time. Because the fact that you went tested is because you are linked to a positive case. So you must wait for your results before you go around, because you may also be positive. You may spread the but Wait for your reserve. Your results are negative. It's only then that you can go out. And if your results are positive, then you you now self isolate. And the other issue that we have to address is the issue of stigmatization. That we do not need to stigmatize people that have tested uh, COVID-19 positive, because this is just a pandemic that can as well also. Uh, Attack you tomorrow. You might mm -hmm. have COVID-19 tomorrow, and I'm sure you would not want to attack in as much as you ask other people. So let us adhere to the regulations. Mm -hmm. Let us try to keep safe. Thank you. Uh, Minister, just before we let you go, briefly, just with the introduction of stage three, and of course then once again with the provision of the curfew, 
likely to have an impact on or negative impact on the economy. Can you briefly just talk to us about what the government is doing to ensure that there is a balance between safeguarding, of course, in the lives of Namibians and Namibia and its citizens, and of course, in the continued function of the economy to ensure that uh, we also safeguard the, the, the livelihoods of people in general? Government is not unmindful about the impact of COVID-19 on the economy. That's why when we introduce these measures, we also put in place the strategies and plans as to how the economy be continued. Yesterday, there was a meeting of uh, economic clusters ministers in order to map out the strategy that we forward. And once the report has been presented to the president, you will hear briefings what measures have been put in place. The finance minister will be able to get some light after that. Well, thank, thank you so much. We certainly look forward to uh, then getting those specifics from those uh, from the specific minister. Once again, uh, Dr. Mushalenga, thank you so much for making the time to join us. It's my pleasure. Well, there you have it. That was the Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Dr. Pia Mushilenga, just giving us an update in terms of the current um, uh, compliance, of course, then with the stage or reintroduction of stage three of the state of emergency regulations.